Hello, this is Chris with Elevations. Doing a soldering project today, and I thought I would show everybody how I put these connectors on. So first you see the actual board I'm working on, as well as a connector just loose right there. I'm gonna zoom back out so you can take a look at the packaging that I got in. So this is a UFL SMT connector. So from this, I'll be able to do a little jumper that gives me the RPM RPSMA connector on the outside of enclosure for what I'm working on. And as you can tell from that packaging, this is the Adafruit product. And you can see in that package, there's just that little connection itself. That connection comes in a small plastic packaging here. And again, these are the tweezers. And this is the small packaging, basically just kind of gives something to hold this very, very small connection. You can see on the bottom, this is the part that actually goes onto the circuit board. Flip that over, and that's the part that might be a little bit more visually recognizable there. I'm gonna set that particular one off the side, and we'll zoom back into the board. So if we take a look at this board itself, and I'll reorient this a little bit, so you can see this connector right here, as well as the pads it's going to be going on. I'm gonna get the smaller tweezers so I can point this a little bit more accurately. So the center pad right here is the one that actually links in to the radio on the other side. So this is the one that I need to make sure has a really good hold that is gonna be what the signal actually goes through. And then you have the two binding pads on the side. Now, if you look at this connection itself, notice one side you can see the copper on the white base there and on this side you cannot let's see if i can flip that over and show you what it actually looks like on the connector so on the bottom of it you can actually tell right there that the one side actually has the connection going into the antenna pin and if i flip this over slowly and we look at the top I'll we'll set this right back down. Now you can tell the side where you can see the copper on the top is not the side that's the conductor for the actual center pin. This side is a conductor for the center pin. So it goes through the bottom and pops through that center. So what I do to get a good connection there is I actually get a little ball of solder on your signal pad and then slowly bring the actual connection into that ball of solder, remove my soldering iron and allow that to cool. And then once that's done, I do the two sides and then I top it off with a little bit more solder on the actual signal pad. I'm gonna see if I can actually get a decent solder going here for you so everybody can see how this works. I'm reorienting the magnifying glass a touch so I can see it as well. And again, so I'll just take this and I prepare it in this fashion so I can just kind of slide it over, make it pretty easy. I just turned on my soldering iron so that is now up to temperature. So what I'll do here is I'll put my soldering iron on the actual signal pad itself, heat that up, and then I'll introduce, if I can wrangle it, introduce the solder to that pad and then remove heat. So now I have that little ball of solder you see on the actual signal pad. So I'm going to grab my tweezers, move my holder around a little bit. So this actually, this magnetic and uh, tweezer holder, magnifying glass, etc., etc. Did a box opening on this a while back. And you can see that in one of the previous videos. So again, I'm just sliding this over, reliquifying, sliding that signal bar into it, removing heat, solidifies. Now I look at that, and it's not quite perfectly centered. So I'm going to grab it again. Reliquify, move it slightly back down, remove heat, and do an inspection. 
That's pretty decent, but I would like to rotate this a little bit because it's not quite perfectly square. Reliquify. Rotate slightly. Remove heat. And that solidifies. Now you can see that's sitting on that pad pretty nicely. So now that the actual signal pad itself has a good connection, I'm able to come through and heat up the other pieces, add a little bit of solder on the sides so we can get that to hold in place. And I just add a little bit of solder as I go along here. I'm going to wipe that off because it too much is collected on the tip. I like to keep the tip of my soldering iron quite clean so it doesn't bulge up and go where I don't want it to go. Okay. All right, we're going to reapply. So again, we just heat up that pad. Keep off the side. Introduce a little bit of solder here. Let that run through. See a little bit of escaped here, so I'll bring it back in. There we go. Not the cleanest, and we do need a little bit more on this side. There you go. Liquefy, remove heat, and it solidifies. Now, same thing on the bottom. So get a slightly better angle, there we go. Heat that pad up. Introduce the solder. Drag that across the pad. And most of the strain of the connection itself is on this particular portion, so you want to have a decent amount of solder on that. And then remove heat. I can go back and trim that up and make it a little bit cleaner later on. And then finally, I will reheat the signal pin itself, and then just introduce a touch more solder and just make sure that is going to be clean. So I get a really good connection to that signal pad. And there we are. Just visually inspecting. We have a pretty good connection on my single pad. I do need to trim that up a little bit more and I'll do that with some tweezers. I'm going to add a touch more right here. Just for strain relief. And now you may notice a little bit just touch the outside and I'm going to clean that up. Just got to liquefy, pull it right off. And that's all that takes. So this is that very small connection, the UFL, that I'm going to be able to keep on this board. That signal passes through that center pin. And then I'm going to put my little jumper to go to the outside of the enclosure. I'm putting these inside for my RP SMA antenna connection. Again, my name is Chris with Elevations. Please like and subscribe below. And as always, I hope you learned something.